Today I'm going to show you how to make these amazing prints and we're going to talk about how you could sell them, but there is a catch. So the E1 printer is a Kickstarter currently. At time of release of this video, the Kickstarter is still going on. You still have a chance to get one at the Kickstarter pricing. They're supposed to start shipping around July, considering all the stuff that they sent me looks like production model and level equipment. I think they're definitely going to make their deadline to start shipping those, I, those units in July. If you want to learn more about the printer and about the Kickstarter, I've got links down in the description. First thing I need to do is I need to swap out the mini bed that is installed for the large bed. So I just unclip it, take the mini bed off, and then I'm going to put the large bed on. Here you can see I'm placing down the adhesive mat. This is what the printer uses to keep the items you're printing in place while they're printing. Now, right now there's this large white sheet on top of it. And when you first use the bed, you'll put the sheet on and it'll do a test print to calibrate the printer to the size of the bed. Once that's done, you don't have to do it again. And after it's done, you just take the white sheet off, which I of course forgot to record. Then you simply stick your material down to the sticky mat. I try to line it up with the guides as much as I can. Of course, you will later fine tune the position of your print in the software, but I find it's easier. It helps a lot if you line it up first on the print bed. I want to do a big piece of art. I like this dragon. Let's go for it. So we're going to bring this in. We'll click customize. Wait for it to load. We'll get rid of templates. I don't know why that always wants to pop out. So now I need to do a snapshot so I can get this lined up. I believe I can also do this once I start the print task, but I like to do it before and after. <laughs> Just sort of double check. First, this is gonna go through and measure, and then it's gonna take a couple pictures of the bed and it will give us a composite here in just a minute that we can lay our artwork over. There we go, we can get our, see our background, our wood right here. So let's go ahead and adjust this a little bit. And you can see it's got a relief texture set up here, which is what I'm looking for. We can actually, if we go to preview, you can see it's gonna have a little relief texture to it, which is pretty cool, I think. Go back to the editor here. We're gonna leave everything as it is and we're gonna go to start. All right, um, yeah, let's start print task. All this is already set. It was brought in from the template. I don't really need to change anything. My only complaint is that it doesn't have a estimated time. I would love if they had an estimated time. And also the estimated ink used, if I click here, start print, I do believe briefly on this screen before I actually start it, you'll be able to see how much ink it will use. And this is probably going to take a second to send to the printer because it's going to be a large file. And I feel like I'm going to be printing this thing for like the next five hours. Yeah, so device estimating ink volume. And it should show me. And then the printer's going to start beeping here in a second or chiming. Yeah, so you can see here briefly 0.3 mil, 0 0.5, 0 0.22, 18, 26. That's a quarter of the white, 0.47 mil. And that's it, it doesn't give a, like I said, it does not give a estimated time. So here we go. All right, the print has been running for about an hour and 50 minutes at this point, and it's at 20%. It's uh, it's taken a little bit of time, but it's looking pretty cool so far. I'm kind of excited to see how this looks when it's all done. We'll take a look at the finished result later in the video because first I want to show you something else really cool. We're going to attach the rotary to the printer, put it in place, lock it down. Now the rotary does come with extensions like this and I found on this rotary it just works better if I use the extensions than if I don't. We're going to put the open side of the cup this direction, slide this over so it's snug and then we're going to lock 
the cup in place. Then in our software, I've already got this dragonfly image I'm gonna do. I'm using a dragonfly because my partner loves dragonflies. You can see on the layout, it's got these vertical dashed lines that sort of give you a reference of the size of the cup. And I've got this little pop-up about the rotary tool. So I'm gonna click OK there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit auto measure. It has a little, has a little bit of a taper. So we're gonna say it has a taper. It does not have a handle, so I'm not going to click that. And I'm gonna click auto measure. And now it's gonna do its measuring. And one of the cool features about this rotary, as you can see, is it tilts. So it auto levels so that the printing surface is always perfectly level and you don't have to worry about the taper. It's all set. Now, the main difference between the rotary and the flatbed is you don't get an image of, it doesn't show you a snapshot because it can't just based on the way the rotary works. So you get these dash lines and this rectangle here to line everything up. I think everything looks good. I'm gonna leave everything as is and I'm gonna click print and then it's gonna send it to the device. And you can hear it bonging in the background. And then you can see over here, I've got my ink usage, which is less than 0.01 milliliters for all of the different colors, the white and the gloss. I did record this being printed, except as fate would have it, the rotary turns the opposite direction. So you don't see it printing until it comes off of the rotary. So that's pretty awesome. We do need to talk briefly about time investment. So this tumbler that I made with the dragonfly that was definitely not a last minute Mother's Day gift for my partner because I forgot, was about 30 minutes for a single tumbler. And then you have to account for time setting it up in the software, getting it on and off the printer. So I'd say around 35 to 40 minutes for this tumbler. And it's not a huge print. So it does take some time. Cost wise, this ink was not that expensive. Our beautiful dragon painting here, this was eight hours. So I think it's important to take the time consideration into account, not just how much it costs me to make the items, how long is it gonna take you to make the items? If you just set the printer to the side and treat it like an intern where it's just gonna churn out stuff for you and you have to interact briefly with it here and there, I think while you work on other things in your business, I think that's perfectly reasonable. I don't, however, think it's a good idea to buy one of these printers and base an entire business around one of the printers. If you wanted to do custom stuff with the UV printer, you're probably gonna need a few of them to be able to get the volume of items you want to sell. So those are my thoughts on the Ufi Make E1 UV printer. Thanks for watching.